Let's create a GIF animation in Photoshop CS6. We begin by finding a high quality image off the internet about a, a blue screen of death which can be used for, uh, for fun practical jokes. And this is a very feared screen because we see a flashing cursor. So how do we get that flashing cursor? I'm going to right click, duplicate this layer, click on OK. And Photoshop here is very good because it actually allows us to animate images of any size, whereas a lot of the online websites that do it only limit you to a certain size. So we have two different layers, and we want to actually change one of the layers. Each layer represents a different frame in your animation video. So the second layer, we're going to use the eyedropper tool to suck the color blue. And then we're going to use the paintbrush tool to just array, to brush away that little cursor. So ideally, we'd animate between cursor, no cursor, cursor, no cursor. You go to Window, and then in previous versions, we're looking for animation. However, in the CS6, we're looking for a timeline. So we have a timeline here. If you accidentally mess things up in this animation, you can always right-click these keyframes and delete it, try to start start again from scratch. But notice how all the eyeballs are shown here. Just leave it alone, leave the defaults. What we want to do is we want to click on this top right corner, this little box here that people tend to forget about, and go to Make Frames from Layers. Make Frames from Layers. There we go. You set up your time timings. Notice how here one of the eyeballs got deselected, but leave it alone. This is actually correct. We're going to set up our timings as 0.5 seconds each frame. Feel free to customize these timings. You can even choose other, but for now, 0.5 is good for us. Click on play. Notice how it's actually animating. Now, how do we actually get this as a file? Click on stop. You go to file, save for web. I'm going to choose GIF. So under the second box here, choose GIF and click on save. So we're going to save this as blue blue.gif, B-L-U-E, press enter, and we save it. So now that you've saved it, you can actually uh, use the GIF file we saved it to our desktop in various uh, applications. So for example, if you actually open up your Internet Explorer, open, uh, open a new tab, um, you can go uh, open a new tab and you can actually uh, press Control o Control O within Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer allows you to browse for that uh, for the um, file that starts with letter B, blue.gif. And notice how within the Internet Explorer we have a GIF animation. So theoretically, if you're building a website, you can create your own GIF animations. Where else can you use GIF animations? Say you have this program called PowerPoint. You can stretch. You can go insert insert pictures and you can find that GIF file. You can stretch out your image and then run it by pressing F5. When you press F5 it runs your slideshow in full screen so anyone who walks over to your computer thinks that your computer crashed. It's kind of funny. So just don't get in trouble for this. Press escape and there's our little blue screen of death. Uh, this tutorial, the idea of GIF animations, can be applied to any other animation as well besides the blue screen. It can be used for some character animations and, and uh, user creativity. Congratulations, hopefully you now know how to create some GIF animations. Do not save as PNG, sometimes that won't work. Generally, generally the technique I showed you will work. Thank you.